Does the Wi-Fi slow down for everybody else when you game? Here's how you can make sure that everyone else at home gets fast internet all day, even if you're playing all day. But before we get to that, can we talk about this awesome, gigantic gaming PC that we have right here? Yes, please. Welcome to Next Upgrade, your ultimate guide to upgrading your home into a smart one. And hey, if you enjoy watching this show, give us a like, comment, and subscribe. I know, I know, we're here to talk about Wi-Fi, but can we just appreciate the awesome specs on this rig just for a bit? It's decked out with all sorts of Asus Republic of Gamers goodies, which means that I can play games like God of War, Elden Ring, Fortnite, etc., etc., on max settings, hassle-free for you and the PC. You can see all the specs on the screen right now. But first, I want to talk about the graphics card. It's the ROG Strix GeForce RTX 4080, which not only delivers top-of-the-line performance at up to 8K resolution, but also just looks plain cool. Another cool component is the case itself. The case is a Tough Gaming GT502, and it's fully modular down to its skeleton. So if you want to modify your setup, you can be flexible with how you mount your components. It also comes with two Tough Gaming-style woven straps for easier mobility when you're moving your rig around, if you want to do that. We actually did some tests with a few AAA games, and well, the numbers on the screen speak for themselves. One thing's for sure, though. Klaus won't forget this. Kayang kaya niya yung mga premier, top of the line games at the highest settings. For the peripherals, I've got this great 27 inch ROG Swift monitor, which combines incredible picture quality with pro gamer level performance. For me, two of the standout features of this gaming monitor are its 240Hz refresh rate and its 1 millisecond response time at 1440p, which are super important in games where you need to react quickly to what's on your screen. It might not make me much better at gaming, but at least I get to see everything in real time. Plus, the monitor protects your eyes with flicker-free technology, which should really help in those long gaming sessions. We might not notice it, but monitors can flicker up to 250 times per second. So that's one... 900,000 flickers per hour. That's why your eyes really do get tired. The flicker-free technology on monitor nato automatically adjusts the backlight as you play, which reduces the flickering. This rig is also rocking the Falchion keyboard, the ROG Keras mouse, and the ROG Delta S wireless headset. Let us know in the comments if you want us to review these devices. Not gonna lie, this setup is making binge gaming a lot easier. But binge gaming can sometimes have drawbacks for other people at home. Or, you know, co-hosts who want to stream movies for themselves. Right, Jaime? I have a story. Sorry, Dosha. For a lot of households, bumabagal talaga ang internet kapag may kaagaw ka sa Wi-Fi. And that's because of how bandwidth works. How does bandwidth work? To the lab! Welcome to the lab, where things aren't necessarily efficient, but they should make sense. Let me call in my lab assistant, Jaime. What's up, man? What's up, Jaime? Where? What is this place? Wandering Jaime. Jaime is going to be adding an extra layer to the expression, um, an extra pair of hands, okay? Imagine this picture on my left. Picture on my left, yes, that one. Hold the picture, hold the picture. Yes, this picture of water is your bandwidth or the amount of data that your connection can move per second. Now imagine that this glass over here is a low demand online activity, something like Facebook, sending emails, surfing, etc. Now, surfing uses up some of your bandwidth, right? Just like this. Okay, okay, stop, okay, stop, stop. This person spends so much time on Facebook. And basically, the more bandwidth your connection can give to an activity, the faster the data transfer is, which means the faster your internet is. So dito, kung mas puno yung baso, mas mabilis yung internet. Now, this is what happens if you have a lot of activities going on at the same time, okay? Here, we have Facebook. Ito, surfing. Ito, TikTok. Yan yung TikTok. Ito yan. Yan yung TikTok. Yan yung surfing. Yan yung Facebook. Okay? Okay. 
Yeah, put a little bit in surfing. Yeah, why not? Why not? Okay. <laughs> uh, Patilt po, please. Ganito na lang. Take, take two, shall we? Uh, now, this is what happens when you have a lot of activities going on at the exact same time. Which means, ubos na yung bandwidth, but the glasses aren't as full as before. Which also means, mabagal na ang internet nyo. Some activities, like gaming and HD streaming, for example, have bigger bandwidth requirements. So, uh, let's use this to represent Jaime's gaming, shall we? Nice, tall glass. Nako, dami! Ganyan talaga. Okay, look at that. Look at all the bandwidth that Jaime's gaming is using. And now, there's not so much left for Facebook, or for surfing, or for TikTok. You're only gonna use that much TikTok. The Wi-Fi will give Jaime's Gaming enough bandwidth to move at a good speed, but that leaves less for the others. Which means, bumabagal sila lalo. And if I bring out another big glass, no, HD movie streaming pa. Paano kaya yan, no? And now, may isa pang kaagaw sa Wi-Fi. Anong Wi-Fi? Now, there are several ways to fix this, but we want to talk about one in particular. PLDT Home My Own Wi-Fi, okay? It's an upgrade to your current PLDT Home Fiber plan that basically gives you a second supply of bandwidth. So it's kind of like adding another pitcher of water to this setup. Hi, Miss Pitcher. With Hi, Miss Picture. You can get a second internet connection that's all yours. You don't even have to open another PLDT Home Fiber account to get it. You don't even need a second modem. When you get my own Wi-Fi, you'll be given a Wi-Fi mesh that you can connect to your modem at home, and that's all you need. There's no installation and no waiting. Just plug it in, and it activates instantly. And boom, may dalawang Wi-Fi ka na. One for you, and one for your household. Cheers. At ang maganda pa rito, My Own Wi-Fi will give you the same speed as your existing PLDT Home Fiber plan, but at roughly half the cost lang. So, para kang may 50% off on your second connection. And now that I have my own dedicated Wi-Fi, wala nang kaagaw sa bandwidth si Justin. Personally, I'd use my dedicated Wi-Fi for streaming, but it comes in handy din for other cases. Like, if you work from home, you can use your My Own Wi-Fi for your home office para wala kang kaagaw sa bandwidth when you're doing video calls. But you know what? Let's put it to the test, shall we? Right now, Jaime is back in the living room gaming on his My Own Wi-Fi. Enjoy ba, Jaime? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Mukhang concentrated si Jaime ngayon. I'm connected naman to our main Wi-Fi. And I'm gonna start streaming an HD movie. And then we'll see what the speed test tells us. Alright, I got my movie on. Jaime is playing his games over there. Uh, let's check the speed test, shall we? There you have it, 61. That's about what I paid for. PLDT Home My Own Wi-Fi is also useful if you're the type who downloads a lot of big files, actually. Like, if you're a video editor, for example, you can download raw files on your My Own Wi-Fi while watching movies on your home Wi-Fi. And that's it for this episode. You can learn more about everything in this gorgeous gaming rig on nextupgrade.ph and follow our TikTok for even more info. That's right, and if you want to learn more details man, about PLDT My Own Wi-Fi, head on over to pldthome.com slash myownwifi. Say goodbye to Agawan ng Wi-Fi. Yeah. And as always, you know the drill. Subscribe to our YouTube channel so we can keep making videos like this one. And hit the bell button to get notified whenever we upload a new episode of Next Upgrade powered by PLDT Home. We post a new one every Sunday. So, we'll see you next week. See you, neighbors.